I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the ASUS UX32VD. Save your snickering about the name until later. This is part of the ASUS ZenBook line, which is their Ultrabook line of laptops. The original ZenBook was one of the first uh, generation of Ultrabooks and was really designed to compete with those other early models and also uh, the Apple MacBook Air, uh, probably the most popular ultra-thin 13-inch laptop. It was perfectly fine, but this latest version, the UX32, is, is really advanced compared to a lot of the other Ultrabooks we've seen. It includes a lot of the features that you usually see stripped out. I would go so far as to call it very close to being an Ultrabook without compromise. What does that mean? That means it's got an Intel Core i7 CPU. It's got a full 1080p screen that's 1920 by 1080. That's a resolution you very rarely see on a 13-inch laptop. And perhaps most importantly, uh, it has a discrete NVIDIA GPU. Now, it's only a 620M GPU. It's a pretty entry-level part, but uh, I tried playing a whole bunch of games on it, including recent ones like Skyrim, and I got reasonably playable results, which is not something you're likely to get on uh, most other Ultrabooks. You also get a uh, backlit keyboard, very important in a slim travel laptop these days. Uh, big click pad, uh, similar to the ones we've seen on earlier ZenBook laptops from ASUS, but it's really not a strong point here. They actually sent over a last minute driver update to the uh, touchpad, made it a little bit better, more usable, uh, but you're still not gonna get uh, anything really like the responsiveness and, and snappy feel that you get from Apple and their MacBook touchpads. I think that's an area where really all of the Ultrabooks need to put in some extra effort in order to catch up. Uh, you do get multiple USB 3.0 ports, which is great, and even multiple video ports. There's mini display port and HDMI built in, and you get an uh, external dongle for VGA. So anything you want to connect this to, you pretty much can. Even the battery life was pretty decent, north of five hours. Now here's the catch. You're going to pay a little bit more for all these features. This guy is $1299, which is maybe not a lot compared to a MacBook Air, but it is a lot more expensive than most other Ultrabooks. But if you need all those extra features and you still want something that's relatively slim and light and portable, uh, then I think you're going to find this is a fairly compromise-free example of an Ultrabook. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the ASUS ZenBook UX32VD.